بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اٹس آور انگلش کلاس فور گریڈ سکس ویک سکس ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از فگریٹو لینگویج اینڈ وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس سملی میٹافر اینڈ الیٹریشن سملی از اے کمپیریزن آف ٹو تھنگس یوزنگ دا ورڈس لائک اور ایز This room is as hot as an oven. Metaphor is a comparison of two things saying that one thing is or was another thing. The room is an oven. Alliteration. The repetition of the same beginning sound of words. Seven snakes slither slyly. The sound sir is obvious here. In methodology, we are going to have audio visual aids, explanations, and assignment in resources we are going to have junior english book and obviously internet as our outsource in objectives you will be able to identify different types of figurative language in poetry find double meaning in poems and understand the difference between literal and figurative meaning so figurative language always adds spice to your language what is figurative language a type of descriptive language where the meaning of the phrase is not to be taken literally or word for word the phrase has a deeper or more abstract meaning means whatever the meaning is seen it is not exactly meant about figurative language the use of word is an unusual or imaginative manner examples are an icy stare as free as bird he didn't make it a piece of cake similes when two things are compared using like or as sweet as a honeybee roar like a lion so the word as and like is obvious here if we define simile we would say a simile is a figure of speech that makes a comparison showing similarities between two different things unlike a metaphor a simile draws resemblance with the help of the word like or as as we read earlier therefore it is a direct comparison we can find simile examples in our daily speech we often hear comments like john is as slow as a snail Snails are notorious for their slow pace and here the slowness of John is compared to that of a snail. The use of as in the example helps to draw the resemblance. Now we know the definition of simile. Let's look at some examples of common similes. Examples. He crept into the room as quiet as a mouse. The cloud was fluffy like cotton candy. The snowflakes sparkled like millions of tiny diamonds. He was as angry as a grizzly bear. Busy as a bee, sparkle like diamonds. Hungry as a bear, flat as a pancake, hard as a rock. So, word like and as, you can see how it is used. What is a metaphor? A metaphor is a comparison between two things where one is said to be the other. example her mind is a sponge that absorbs all the details so you can see mind and sponge both are different things but they are related to each other for showing something that mind used to absorb so for telling you that sponge can absorb as well basically sponge is for absorbing water and mind is for absorbing things but now they are interrelated to tell you something about details definition of metaphor is a metaphor is a figure of speech that describes an object or action in a way that isn't literally true but helps explain an idea or make a comparison a metaphor states that one thing is another thing it equates those two things not because they actually are the same but for the sake of comparison or symbolism if you take a metaphor literally it will probably sound very strange are there actually any sheep black or otherwise in your family metaphors are used in poetry literature and anytime someone wants to add some color to their language or as i said that it is a spice of your language 
So metaphors we can understand more by their examples. He was a tornado, blasting his way through the opposing team. He was a lion in the fight. So these things are not true, but they are giving you some idea about some certain things. Education is your passport to satisfy employment. The truck flew down the empty highway. My love is a red, red rose. The rain came down in long knitting needles. Language is a road map of a culture. It tells you where these people come from and where they are going. The sun was a gleaming pearl. My baby brother is a cute little teddy bear. My sister's memory is a camera that remembers everything we see. The car seat is a fluffy cloud. Custard is happiness in a bowl. So now, you can have two things in your mind, simile and a metaphor. So, simile or a metaphor. Your challenge today is to recognize the difference between a simile and a metaphor. Can you do it? Let's see. If we compare both similes and metaphors, let's have a look. Tipu was as scared as a rabbit in headlights. Tipu was a scared storm. In a metaphor, you can see there is no like or as. Big George is as big as a building. Big George is a building. Rongo was as strong as a rock is a simile. Rongo was a rock is a metaphor. The Mary was like a battlefield. The Mary is a battlefield. The rain puddles are like mirrors. Puddles are my mirrors. The war is like a confiscation battle. It's a simile. The war is a battle of a confiscation. It's a metaphor. Now we are going to talk about alliteration. It is a repetition of constant sounds at the beginning of words. Smiling Sarah sweetly sang songs in the street. So the sound sir is very obvious in all the words. If you define alliteration, it is derived from Latin word, latira. It means letters of alphabet. It is a stylistic device in which a number of words having the same first consonant sound occur close together in a series. It means same sound comes first. Consider the following examples. But a better butter makes a better better. A big bully beats a baby boy. Both sentences are alliterative because the same first letter of word B occurs close together and produces alliteration in the sentence. An important point to remember here is that alliteration does not depend on letters but on sounds. So the phrase not naughty is alliterative but cigarette chase is not. Alliteration examples are curious cats can catch a cold, frogs frequently frolic in fresh water, eleven elegant elephants and an elderly elk. Will Walter wait for wonderful Wendy? German gentlemen generally give gems as gifts. Never neglect nearby nerds. Now you can see repetition of consonant sounds. Common examples of alliteration include the tongue twisters. Basically they are the tongue twisters which you need to speak fast and let's see where your tongue twists more or can you speak it in one tone, in one pace. Round and round the rugged rock the ragged rascal ran and Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Speak it at a fast pace and let's see what will happen. It's really a fun. Listen to these sentences as well. Carmen carefully caught Carl. Steve saved seven seagulls. Brian bought black brollies. What did you notice about each? Each word begins with the same sound. That is really interesting. So we come to know that figure of speech makes your writing colorful and definitely a spice to your writing. In bibliography, I have given you few interesting quizzes where you can check your knowledge of similes, metaphors and alliterations. You would be enjoying and don't forget to speak 
on a fast pace. Sally sells seashells on seashore. Hope you understand that figurative language is really a fun. Thank you.